Hello everybody, Bart Dope Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so today we're going to be playing a little bit uh, more of the Stationeers. Oh, I'm really liking this game, pretty good so far. Beautiful sunrise, huh? Alright, so I went ahead and I did a little bit of mining, so I got quite a bit of, little bit of resources here, got some here, and yeah, so... Oh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> a little burp there to start the episode. All right, so uh, what I wanted to do today is I want to get together and I want to start um, adding more onto the base uh, just because uh, I think we should. Um, so I want to go for like a 5x5. Five five. I think that's kind of what I want to go for. So we'll add another row here and then we should add another row here. And that will make us our 5x5. Five five. But then I want a place to come in as an airlock, right? So we're going to need, I want this and that. This like so. That like this. That like that. Oh, and I'm out. All right, so uh, we'll grab uh, you. Uh, no, I won't not right away. Um, we need, what are those things called? <laughs> Iron. We'll just do it like this, frames. So uh, we'll do a few frames. Uh, one, I'll do about four or five more frames. Yeah, four or five more frames. That way I can use this as like an airlock. Uh, this going in and out of the base. Um, yeah, I think that's the plan. We're gonna need quite a more than just five frames because I wanted to do. Um, oh, I wanted to do something like this. Uh, that's a corner. This would be a corner of the base. That would be a corner of the base. Uh, something like this. And then that way I can kind of find out where, oh, jetpack time, where I want to put, um, I don't really want to waste fuel there. I want to be able to find out where I can put like um, a base. Um, borders. That's what I'm looking for as a word. Uh, kind of like a framing. And I want to see if uh, I can uh, make something uh, a little bit happening here. I don't want it super huge, though, but uh, I think that should be good. All right, let's just test this out and see what we can do here. So I want to frame there. And then if I put one here and then above, can I just delete the one underneath afterwards? <laughs> let's try that. Um, bam. Oh, you can too. All right, so that's super beautiful. Um, so now that I got that, 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 I would like to, um, uh, I would like to do something like this, like that, like so, and like C, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I want to connect them or I think I just might leave them like that and then use these to run like power through and all that good stuff yeah because uh i'm gonna do like a little bit of a remodeling of my base here and i just want to get something going so that way at one point or another we can um we can start like hydroponic room and stuff like that so just want to start like a little bit of a base building today and maybe get um solar panels up and running i think that's another thing that I would really like to do is uh, solar panels. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of, um, oh, where is it there? Right on this side here. Grab some sheets and I want to grab my welder, right? So if we just do one for now, it means we can walk on them and it makes it like a solid thing. But I think you can still place stuff um, through them. I'm pretty sure anyways. Or maybe not. Or maybe it's just on on them. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just on them. That would make a little bit of sense. All right, so we'll go here. This is the one I want to do full. Um, actually, it's a floor. I can do it full. Uh, I'll just do one for now. Uh, this one underneath. I'll do full and oh, I'm out of frame or I'm out of uh, iron stuff. All right, so let's go iron again. Uh, we'll go sheets and there we go. 
So yeah, we'll do a few more sheets here and there, and then we'll get prepared for the rest is I think is going to be windows. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Our rest is going to be windows. Um, that way. Yeah. That way I can like, uh, bring piping and stuff like that through certain areas. Um, Oh man. Yeah. Give me those. All right. So that should be good. We'll turn that off. We'll turn you off to save some power. Go back on you. Cause I forgot to, to do that. Um, do I? Yeah. I think you do. And then this one here too. Just do one each. I think I should still be able to get power maybe through that. I'll have to check it out and find out. But that's going to be that for now. Um, I think we should really start and focus on solar panels. What do y'all think? I think that's the, the right thing to do. We'll put that away. So let's go back over here. We'll put these away. These uh, iron plates for now. Uh, and then we want to concentrate on solar panels. Um, I got some lead too for batteries. I think it's the lead. The batteries take lead. Oh, I can't remember. Um, but we also want a furnace. So that was another thing I was looking at here too. So, uh, we need a furnace because we're going to need steel at one point or another. So we just want one furnace. You just got to watch this because you don't want it to pump out a second one. Um, and then... Or is there something else out here I wanted to look at too? Um, oh yeah, battery. So I wanted to go with the large battery kit. And you can see it requires 35 steel. So I think we can get that. I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. And then we need uh, solar, uh, basic solar panel. Or I think it's this one, right? Yeah, this one here. Uh, kit solar panel. So we just got to throw some iron in there and we would have it. So that's pretty good. All right. So 35%. All right. So I'll uh, get ready to build and I'll do some more stuff. Um, I'll prepare and I'll get all the items necessary needed for building. And then uh, I think we'll set up the, we'll set up. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely set up the, uh, the solar panels and all that good stuff afterwards. So let me go prepare get all the pieces we need because this is kind of going to be pretty boring just sitting here waiting for all this crap to get uh, constructed but at least give you a basic idea of what i'm going to be looking for to right now so um sun's going up uh going down actually because it comes up over there uh yeah that's pretty good and then we'll build a nice solar array and we'll have uh, all kinds of good um solar panel goodness all right, so I'll see you back in a bit. Okay, so uh, since the sun is going down, I think I got most of the stuff prepared. I guess we'll start putting a little bit of stuff up. Oh, I meant to do that. All right, so we're going to start putting our solar panels down. Um, at least it'll be a start, right? So I guess I want the logic in the front. Uh, yeah, that's the logic, right? Yeah, perfect. Logic in the front, power in the back. Um, only because of the... Oh, I don't want to blow up my cables type thing going on. <laughs> um, then what else? Okay, sun's going down, so we will wait for that. Um, daylight sensor in the meantime. I think I had that here. That's why I want that. And then I think we're getting pretty good. I'm going to go get that glass in the meantime. It's almost, almost nighttime. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, glass. That'll finish off the solar panels up top here. And then we'll get to cracking on making power. Alright. So, we'll just uh, throw those here for now. Voila. So now I want to get into this uh, right here. So now that it's night time, we should be able to just start using uh, this here. So, uh, I want to make steel. Steel is the big thing right now. So, I want to be able to put that here. Uh, let's just do, 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 do. It's R. So, you want to split one, two. And then, yeah. And then we'll take those two. We'll throw those in. Bam. Then we'll switch that with this. Uh, we just need one of those in here. And that should technically... Uh, do you have to do that? Activate it? You do. Insert. And then this. 
should give us excellent. So that gives us what we need for that. So now we should start putting in our iron. You see down here that it's being all smelted. Excellent. Put in the next iron. That one's getting all smelted. Most excellent. Put in the last iron. And like your your amounts have to be exact. If you don't put the exact amounts in, you're gonna fluff everything up and you're gonna get this like reagent mix there and no good that. It's just like for recycle, that's it. Oh, there we go. Two hundred grams of steel. Pull this trigger, and there, we got our we got our steel. So close the lever. That's our steel. That I'll put in here for the moment for safekeeping. Now the next thing I want to do is um, I want to. I hope there's enough energy in there. Um, let me just do it just to be sure. Just to be sure. Uh, one, two. So let's toss that in here. Oh, uh, I don't know if that went up at all. If it did, it did. If it didn't, I don't know. Uh, so, E, R, split one, toss one of them in there by, it didn't seem like it went up, but whatever, um, and then I'll take this here, put that there, and I'll pick up those, so, alright, I need 11 of them, alright. Right, we'll drop them, pick them up. I'll toss these first 11 in. I'll make that. And then I'll toss that in. Uh, it doesn't tell me what it is, though. Um, we just try it. Yeah, I got friggin' reagent mix. Hmm, that sucks. I wonder if it's because of the gases that were already in there. But it shouldn't have been. I don't know. I didn't make that the last time. I'm gonna have to try to try not to screw that one up there. And we'll just throw it in our little pit for now. All right, so that was a little bit of a fail, but that's fine. Uh, we'll outgas this stuff and we'll try again another time. Uh, not the end of the world. Uh, the solder. I just wanted to try to make solder. Um, so in here, I think we have enough power left. Let's uh, find the battery. I want the large battery kit. Perfect. So let's just make one of them. I think that's all we're gonna need. For now, anyways. One battery kit will be will be good enough. Excellent. Alright, so we're gonna bring that up here. Uh we're gonna wanna flip this like that. Yeah, that's gonna be wanna be like this. Because the power's gotta go in here and then everything else is gonna come out this way. So I'm going to probably have this flip around and go back into the base and something like that, maybe. Is that how that's going to work? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. Or I could just be able to pull it off of here. No, I'll be able to pull it off of here with another one of those boxes. Very good, very good. All right, so um, let's start with wiring on this side and then... We'll get to doing the other stuff. Uh, did I do the right one? No, I didn't. It would be this one. One. All right, so I'll get all most of this set up and I'll come back. All right, so uh, we'll get a little bit of things going on here. It's still nighttime, but I got a little bit of the front wired up here. I uh, ran out of wire, so we'll get the rest of them going up. And I got the back all wired up. So we'll just uh, leave it as um as if I was going to continue that way in case I do. In case I need more power. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to, but uh, we'll, we'll find it. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I think I'm going to bring that up here like this. And then we'll turn it. And then there, you'll get juice from there. Um, then down here, we'll start doing a little bit of the logics. I'm probably going to need more cables after that, too. Um, so we're going to have two of these. Um, yeah, two of these. We'll put you here. You need, uh, one of you. Close you down for now. Um, can I fit one of you in here? I can. That's awesome. 
That's all I need. All right, so let's go over here. Uh, the first one, this one's the math one, right? Uh, yeah. So the math unit, that one has power on all sides. That's fine. Then this one here is our, we're going to need the batch writer uh, here. And this one's going to be a logic. Where is it here? A logic reader. And then here, we're going to have our memory. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to have to make some more cable. That's uh, guaranteed because I'm just about out. Just, just, just about out. All right. So once I get that up and running, that should be fine. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to pop, though. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. We should be okay. I think we'll be okay. That's my guess. All right. Um, one more. Sure. All right, let's try to hook this up now so we get power to everything. All right, so let's uh, start off with this one here. Go here and here. Oh, I should need my cutters. So if you put your wire cutters in your hand at the same time that you're splicing into different wires, you can add more wire. I think that's kind of a, a really cool thing. Uh, so we'll go here. That's going to need one. Here is more like a four-way. Same with here. Um, oh, I'm gonna need more wire. That's crazy! So much wire. All right, I'll just make some more. It's not a problem. We'll make more. Uh, it's unfortunate. I don't know if I'm gonna get this up and running before before the end of the day, though. <laughs> It'd be kind of awesome if I would. All right. I don't need that much more though. Should be just about good here. We'll try that. And that's 10 more. Like, it's crazy how much wire this takes. All right, so I need to do a three-way there and there. So that's going to be another four-way. Uh, like so. And then I'm going to need three off of this one. And then just a single loop here. Um, probably going to need a three-way here. And then a single loop. Uh, three way. And then down here, I'm going to need more wire. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable. Alright, um, that's crazy. I don't want to take any of this wire because it's kind of like my backup battery wire. So if I run out of batteries and stuff like that, well, at least I can still go get. Um, oh, what is it there? Coal and. And stuff like that, so I got a few spare makeup batteries back there, but it's kind of not enough. All right, let's see where we at here. Uh, down here now. So we just need uh, one here and one here, and I think that's all wired up. Is that possible? Should be, but I'll just finish this off like it's supposed to be. And I think we're going to be good to go. All right, so let's try to get this in right quick. So this is going to need a screwdriver, first of all. Uh, we'll toss you there. So this is going to read the... Come on. Uh, the daylight sensor. We want to read the solar angle. Uh, the memory here is going to be 1. And then if you hold the C, you're going to add smaller increments. And we're going to go up to 1.7. Okay, so that's going to be just some math for us. Um, you can find out on solar rotation and all that good stuff. So the math is going to be the uh, logic reader. Uh, that one's going to be divided by the logic memory. And then down here, this is going to be the math. Uh, that's going to go out to the solar panels. And we just want the vertical rotation. So 
If I do this, that, um, reader off, off, off. All right, solar energy. Okay, so now let's see if we can get some power in here right quick and grab our wrench and then go, what, is it like this? No, it's like this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, is this going to... Oh, that kind of failed. That's uh, 50. There we go. My bad. All right, see if we can get some power out of that. Hopefully, I'll put the battery on. And then this will all get power. Oh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, just in the nick of time, I think we're going to do it. All right, so uh, just because I want to get power off of this and charge some batteries up, I think like this would be the smart thing to do, ladies and gentlemen. And then we'll run some power down. Um, my bad, I want that. And then I want this over here because I want to start charging up some batteries. Excellent. Ah, wow, this is great. All right, so now that's good. That's good. So we got uh, grab this battery here. It's at sixty nine percent, and we'll throw you there. There. So hopefully, oh, you guys aren't working anymore. You guys don't have enough power. Is that it? Is that the problem? What's the problem? Is there a problem? Uh, maybe I just didn't set these up right. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Uh, so if I... Uh, I got to wait till morning, I guess. Because you want to be looking that way for some silly reason. Okay, let me have a look at here. What did I do wrong? Logic reader, which is that. Divided by the logic memory, which is fine. Solar panels, vertical, math, uh, degrees. Uh, what if I do this? Uh, just to see what happens. This is where I'm setting them powers there. Negative 90. Go negative 90. See if I can get some power before morning. There. That might help a little bit. At least a little bit until morning. Are they going to adjust with the light? Oh, and they are too. Awesome. Okay, so that might actually be the whole thing. Oh, I just had them set the wrong angle. That's a very good possibility. Excellent. So we'll find out in the morning if uh, they start tracking because um, once the sun goes down, uh, these should start making their way back to the home position and we should be okay. So batteries at 44%. The other one was at 60 something. So we'll see if that charges. Oh, I forgot to hit the charge button. Silly guy. Uh, there we go. Oh, man. Okay. So that's that. We should turn this off because we don't want to waste whatever little power we have. So we don't have that much power. So that's that. Uh, what else? Uh, what's this? I need that over here. And this can go over here for now. I don't want it flying all over the place. Um, and that can go in there. Perfect. All right. So I guess uh, in the morning, um, I'll make some more pipes. We'll finish hooking up the rest of the power and all that good stuff and uh that will be that all right so daytime is upon us uh we're gonna see if our solar panels uh do what they have to do they seem to be tracking back down to where they need to be so i'm kind of happy with that 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 goes good so if you look with the wrench here um i had to set these to negative 90 the horizontal and then the vertical wall will auto adjust automatically because that's what you're trying to adjust, right? Uh, when I put it to 90 degrees, it wasn't okay. It had to be negative 90. So it seems to be look at that the sun's going okay. It's tracking. See, the sun's not even technically up yet. And it's it's trying to track it. So 
Yes, sir, Rebob. There we go. I think this is going to be good. So I think we have uh, automatic power, ladies and gentlemen. Well, automatic solar power, anyways. That is friggin' a wicked. So that should track. That should give us pretty good efficiency. I'm assuming, anyways. Uh, you can play with that number a little bit, anywhere between 1.5 and 1.8. Don't exceed those numbers, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think you're you're going to be getting very good efficiency afterwards. Um, and even then, like right now, like it's not even all that efficient. I should try playing with that number, maybe bringing it down closer to the 1.5. I think that's going to be more of the thing. Let me try that. I don't think that's going to affect the, anything here. So let's go here and then we'll bring here and then we'll hold uh, the C and we'll bring that to 1.5. See what kind of a, I think we get a better efficiency at that. I think that's just the speed in which it rotates. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'll we'll put it back. Uh, even 1.8. I think that's even better. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll keep it at 1.8. I think that's pretty good. So uh, at least we'll get uh, our batteries charged um, and all that good stuff. So we'll let that go. We'll let our batteries charge and all that good stuff. And in the next episode, I think we'll uh, get into making some solder and maybe putting up some walls in here. How's that sound? And then maybe starting to section off a different part of the base for um, some greenhouse just a little bit, a little greenhouse, nothing too extravagant. Uh, just something that we can at least start growing a little bit of food and that we're not going to die. I think I ate my last cereal bar that was on my body um, in my uniform. Yeah, so I still have the six that they give you in the pod. So that's not so bad. At least we're not going to starve to death right away. <laughs> uh, but then that's it. And then uh, we also got to figure out... Um, these two because uh, look, I'm down to my last one. So I'm going to have to figure out where air filters come from or carbon filters come from. And that's that. Otherwise, I might be um, I might be uh, maybe poisoning myself to death. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. All right. So everybody, we'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.